What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and over the past few years, we have seen Netflix undergo a series of controversies, and for the most part, they've withstood all of them. Have there been hiccups here and there with their stock? Absolutely, but for the most part, their subscriber count continues to grow, and their stock price has continued to rise to ridiculous levels. Even though a lot of other people, whether it's Warner Brothers with HBO Max, whether it's Paramount Plus, whether it's Disney Plus, or the growth of Amazon Prime, even though you've seen a lot of other streaming services continue to pop up, Netflix has still remained king. But over the past few months, we've started to hear rumors that that subscriber count had really slowed down. And after the earnings report we got today, Netflix stock went into an absolute free fall as people are panicking because it looks like the growth of Netflix has finally crawled to a stop. Take a look at the headline, Netflix plunges after forecast for new customers disappoints. Uh, and indeed, you can see the headline from Deadline, Netflix narrowly misses subscriber target in quarter four, stock tumbles because it's not really about narrowly missing it in quarter four, Quarter one of this year is what people were really worried about when Netflix put something out that was a very bad indicator to investors. And when we go to the Netflix stock, you can see it's sitting at 500. Uh, that's where it closed the day. When it reopens tomorrow morning, I think it's gonna be a very different situation. As you can see, after close, it is now down, the futures are now down over 100 points, a 20% drop in Netflix stock after the bell rang. This could get extremely, extremely bad for them. Let's read some of the details here. And this, again, this is after, they've gone through some controversy, there's no doubt. But the biggest controversy a company can have is when they tell their customers, it looks like maybe we're not going to grow as a company anymore. That will certainly make their investors worried. Netflix narrowly missed subscriber forecast for the fourth quarter, reporting a worldwide total of 221.84 million. The year-over-year -year gain of 8.3 million subs in the period ending December 31st fell just shy of company and Wall Street predictions for 8.5 million. Netflix also said Thursday in releasing its earnings that it expects to have 224.3 million subscribers by the end of the current quarter, which would be a gain of fewer than 2.5 million new customers that also appears to be dampening investor enthusiasm. Earnings per share handily top forecast diluted 1.1 or 1.33 while revenue was in line with expectations. The net the results sent Netflix stock down nearly 20% in after hours trading. It closed the regular day at 508, a decline of 1%. After hitting all-time highs last fall, it has tumbled to its lowest level since last spring amid the broader pressure of tech stocks and questions on some investors mind about its ability to stay ahead of the streaming pack. And a lot of other headlines around the financial news sector uh, didn't look as nice or as pretty as this. Look at Market Watch. Netflix stands to shed nearly $45 billion in market cap after borderline catastrophic forecast. Executives expect less than half of new net subscribers that analysts projected for the first quarter of 2022, sending shares down nearly 20% in late trading. Now, now, there has been indications that Netflix has slowed down. We looked at The Witcher Season 2, and I tried to make this point that The Witcher Season 2 was not as watched as a lot of people would have expected it to be. After I hit season one, what we've seen with Netflix over the years, when you have a hit show, that second and third season just continues to go up and up and up. But that wasn't the case with The Witcher. It actually was a little bit less, even though they bragged about it making the top 10. It didn't do as good a ratings as the first season. That's remarkable and very against the trend that we've seen for Netflix over time. And there has been rumors out there, like I said, and I wanted to go to this chart. You can see that in November, I mean, the end of November, these things, I mean, we had over $600 for Netflix stock. And as the year closed, it did slowly sink down to 500. That... This dip you see there is without what's factored in in post-closing, which means we're talking, to go back to 400, we're talking about 2020 levels, April of 2020. Basically, uh, pre-pandemic almost levels for Netflix stock, erasing two years nearly of growth. 
this could be extremely bad. I mean, it is bad if you hold Netflix stock, but it could be bad for Netflix in general after this. But there was some indication that this might have happened, that some people forecasted this, that Netflix themselves saw it because this news came out. Netflix raises subscriber prices again ahead of earnings. Uh, the Netflix basic plan rose by a dollar to $9.99. The standard U.S. subscription now costs $15.49 up from $13.99. And the premium plan up to nearly $20 a month from $17.99. Now, a lot of this probably has to do with inflation, but a lot of it probably has to do with the fact that they realize they're growing slower than they thought. Is it because people are tired of woke garbage? Maybe. Is it because there's so many more options available? Absolutely. fucking lootly Likely it's all of these things combined. But I mean, this is this was massive, massive news. Uh, people are legitimately panicking. It's funny. I saw a couple days ago, I saw someone saying, this is a great time to buy Netflix stock because it had been down in the recent months. Hopefully not too many people listen to that. Although now, now you might want to think about it because you'd have to imagine it'll rebound after this, right? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling anybody what to do. That's for damn sure. But not good news for Netflix. What do you guys think about this? What does it mean for the streaming world? Have they finally maybe tapped out that growth and are really going to be pretty slow from here on out with the growth of all these other services worldwide? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.